Okay, are we not going to discuss about the fact that Big Mean Carl just ate Fufu? <laughs> This is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now, this time we're going to be looking into the 14th episode of The Muppets, which is Little Green Lie. And what a little fascinating episode that we have here. Now, instead of having a special guest, okay, well, technically we got that woman from Good Morning America, but like that's just a little cameo thing. But the legit special guest that we have here is not really a celebrity, but actually a Muppet as Robin actually came back into the scene. Um, Robin just like came in to give Kermit a bit of a visit, but apparently we learned that he's actually going through a little bit of hard times, and the one interesting factor is that he has yet to know about the breakup between Kermit and Miss Piggy, so during that whole time they had to pretend a bit like they are still together and stuff like that, but it's hard when, the, when everybody else around them, like, they kind of have to pretend or, like, they didn't even know and stuff like that. And, like, everything just end up, like, crumbling down altogether. But I would say that overall, it definitely is quite a cute episode. Like, the best way to describe it is that it's a bit like Robin in the episode. It is pretty cute, but it does have its pretty, like, uh, I don't, I, I don't want to say dark moments, but, like, there are, are, there are some times that, like, it does make you feel a little bit sad a bit. Like, there are some times, like, um, like, it does break your heart to see, like, eventually when Robin does discover, eventually, that, uh, like, Kermit and Miss Piggy are actually not together and stuff like that. Yeah, maybe that's a little bit of a spoiler, but come on. Like, with how the episode went, it, it is a little bit predictable. But, um, yeah, like, it is a bit heartbreaking, but it definitely does have heart. This is one of the episodes that does have a little bit more heart to it, where we see, like, the relationship of Kermit and Robin, as well as Miss Piggy and Robin, because she definitely does care about uh, Robin as, she do as much as she does, uh, like, as much as Kermit does care for Robin. But there is one major factor about this episode, like, you can definitely tell what is the purpose of Little Green Lie, and that is pretty much to indicate where are we in the update of Kermit and Miss Piggy's relationship, and that it's getting more and more closer that they are going to be together, something that we pretty much knew since the very freaking beginning. So, there definitely is one step, like, this is definitely one big step forward where we see that there might be a thing going on together, like something even bigger that they, some, yeah, definitely something bigger than they showed uh, in the uh, Christmas episode. But uh, the biggest advancement is that apparently they've officially ditched out Denise and they announced that Kermit is now um, done with Denise. They have officially broken up, so good. Uh, chances are we're not going to be seeing her again, so... Um, that's pretty much thrown out the window, but yeah, basically all this is pretty much an obvious indicator that they might be going back because like you do see them working well together and like they do mention like the past times and like, you know, like the whole, like, like pretty much the, like you can see there is a bit of a connection that they're going back, but they're still a bit hesitant and stuff like that. But yeah, e everything about it is such an easy indicator that they are going to be going back. But, again, overall, the episode, like, like, overall, that plot line of the story is still pretty good. Um, luckily, like, despite being pretty predictable, it still has a lot of heart. Like, it's definitely driven by Robin and Kermit and Miss Piggy, so definitely it does still have a sense of likability. So, yes, like, we all know what's coming, but, um, it definitely, lo it definitely was likable, to say the least. But there is actually a second part to this episode, and finally, now we are seeing a continuation from the big climax that happened in the, uh, tw um, yes, yeah, the 12th episode, uh, the, uh, A Tale of Two Piggies, that now it is official, now they have announced it, that Gonzo and Camilla are back together. But there is a little bit of a problem, uh, considering, like, now that they are a couple on the side, 
Uh, got, now, Rizzo and Pepe, they do need to find a wingman and, like, um, you know, like, just to go out and get the chicks and stuff like that because that's kind of their character, how they are in the show that they pretty much established that they're more the, like, the swinger kind of guys. So, now they're just gonna go and try to find a third person and stuff. That, well, maybe that's not necessarily the entire episode, but... Uh, mo it's mostly how we're seeing an update on those guys, on Gonzo and Rizzo and Pepe. Like, we see a little bit of, of like, how they are at home, and then we see a little bit of, um, like, uh, trying to find a wingman. But, overall, it, it still is a pretty fun episode, and we do get a glimpse of, like, how the relationship with Camilla and Gonzo are going. And, it, it def and I gotta say that it definitely feels more complete. Like, now it actually does make sense and it is a lot of fun. Plus the fact that there's still uh, a lot of good jokes that actually did come into it. So not only did Camilla uh, come in to keep the continuity of the Muppets and to keep Muppet fans like myself very satisfied about it, but she also brings in a lot of material as well. They did use a lot of different jokes with Camilla, like, some, uh, like, rather it be, like, chicken jokes or stuff that would feature Camilla, like, they actually do work. They, they actually are legitimate funny. Like, the, these aren't, like, why does the chicken cross the road, uh, bad jokes or stuff like that. These are legit, really good chicken jokes. And, which is actually funny, because the only thing that's actually comparable would be, like, Chicken Run. And they actually even did reference Chicken Run. But, um, yeah, there isn't a, really a lot to say about this episode, but... That's basically it. Overall, um, I definitely would say that it is better than the last episode. It is a bit predictable, but overall, it is pretty cute. You, it's mostly an update with the relationships of what's going on now. We know that Kermit has officially broken up with Denise. We know that they might actually go, well, well, Kermit and Miss Piggy might actually go back together. And we see Gonzo and Camilla finally back together, and they really are in a great relationship. And, well, Gonzo, Riz, uh, Gonzo Rizzo, and Pepe, uh, you know, they're still great buds and stuff like that. And, like, you know, they're, they're gonna still go in the bars, you know, picking up the chicks and stuff like that. Just... Gonzo will just be the helper and not the one actually participating. But anyways, that's pretty much going to be the uh, that's pretty much all there is this week. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And so until next time, see you later dudes.